Ever wondered how to get the most out of your prayer time? Stick around, because it's coming right up. Focused prayer is one of the most effective ways to get the most out of your prayer time. It allows us to eliminate distraction and really center ourselves on God. One of the best tools that I've ever run into to help with focused prayer is a simple mantra called the five-fingered prayer. It's very simple. It was created by a former pope and it follows along with each finger. The first finger, the thumb, is closest to us. It reminds us to pray for those who are closest to us. In my case, this would be my wife, my daughters, uh, both my uh, in-laws and my parents and my brother and my sister and uh, all the cousins and aunts and uncles, everybody that's close to us, that your immediate family. Uh, the second is going to be your pointer finger. Pointer finger reminds us to pray for those who are teachers, they're doctors, they're ministers. These are people who we hope are pointing people to Jesus, pointing people to the way that Christ would want us to live our lives. Uh, as we pray for these people, we want to remember that they have uh, positions of authority uh, in teaching, in, in healing, and we want them to exercise the gifts that God has given them to the best of their ability. So we lift them up in our prayers. Uh, third is going to be the middle finger. I'm not going to show you just the middle finger. I thought you thought I was going to, but I'm not. The middle finger, of course, is the tallest finger in your hand. This reminds us to pray for those who are in authority above others. Uh, in our case, this would be anybody from local magistrates, your, your mayor, your governor, all the way up to the president of the United States. Please, please pray for our president. Please pray for our Senate. Please pray for our House of Representatives. It's very important that we lift these people up. They are making decisions daily that help protect us, care for us, provide for us. Pray that they would exercise the gifts that God has given them and uphold biblical values. Uh, and so by praying for, for those that are in authority, it allows us to really say, God, move on behalf of us through them. Um, last is going to be your, uh, your ring finger. Um, the uh, ring finger is actually, biologically, the weakest finger on your hand. This reminds us to pray for those who are poor, uh, for those who are, are physically weak, those that are hurting, those that are suffering. God has blessed me, uh, and I'm probably you in so many ways. And we cannot forget that there are those that are out there that are living in lack, that are suffering, uh, that haven't been blessed the same way that we have. And so this allows us to really center our thoughts on praying for those people as well. And in a, in a way, we can say thank you to God uh, for protecting us from um, going through some of these hardships. But we can also say, God, hear our prayers on their behalf and we lift them up to you. Um, and then finally is going to be the pinky. Uh, the pinky is the smallest finger on your hand, uh, and what it reminds us is uh, to pray for ourselves. You know, Pastor, it seems kind of weird that, that you know, I pray for myself last, and it's, you know, there's a very good reason why. Number one, uh, we should see all of this, all these other things, um, as more important than us to God. Um, it's not that you're not important to God, but that when we are praying, we need to be lifting these things up more than, than just lifting up our own things. And the reason why is because it helps put things into perspective. Um, you may be going through a trial right now, uh, but that trial is, is a personal trial. And um, there are many other things going on in this world that God has created that are important as well. And when we lift these things up, sometimes our trial doesn't seem quite as big as maybe we had thought it was or, or, or we're making it out to be in the first place. Um, but when we pray for ourselves, we want to pray for our health. We want to pray for uh, guidance. We want to pray that we would grow stronger in the Word, that our relationship with God will continue to deepen. And we want to pray, uh, first and foremost, um, uh, my, my favorite Psalm 139, uh, 23 24. Search me, God, know my heart, test me, know my anxious thoughts, see if there's any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Um, that is, uh, again, a Psalm um, 139. And uh, by allowing ourselves to, to pray that, uh, again, we put everything into perspective and we just say, God, um, help. In short, help me. Um, and so that's the five-finger prayer. It's very simple. Uh, you can pray this prayer when you have five minutes to pray, maybe a minute on each, on each finger. Um, but it's also very powerful if you stretch it out into a long prayer uh, going through intercession. 
I've led uh, numerous groups through intercession with this. And as simple as it is, it's highly effective and highly powerful. What are your tips and tricks for making your prayer time better? Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear them. And as always, subscribe for more influential encouragement and inspiration. Bye.